Hello and OMG, welcome back to my channel where today I have another fun lash video because I'm going to be showing you the best natural lashes for under $10 that you can find right now. So if you wanna see which ones they are, then go ahead and keep on watching. So as you know, I love lash videos. You guys love my lash videos, that's why you're here. So I'm gonna keep throwing out as much lash videos as I can. So I know that a lot of lashes we review that we see out there don't really, or they're not really geared towards my natural folks out there. And let's be real, the natural look is coming back. It's kind of like trending now. Like, let's not do like a cake face anymore. Let's not have like insanely big lashes. Like that look is coming back and it's nice. You know, natural look, medium look, heavy look, whatever look you like, but it is nice to see that people are definitely embracing their natural selves. I try to embrace my natural makeup, but I have a lot of discoloration. So it gets a little weird for me, but that's just me in my opinion. So anyways, let me stop blabbering. I have four lashes here. Now let me just go in alphabetical order. Let me categorize them. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Okay. And don't be talking mess because I had to do a little alphabet right there. Anyways, I have, um, I think I did a video on natural lashes, like the best ones of 2020. What I like to do is I'm going to keep making more videos, like the best natural lashes, the best large lashes, the best, the best, like whatever is out there for the time being. So today of uh, what I'm showing you is what is available right now. Um, so I wanted to give you guys an updated natural lashes that I think are worth your money. Now, a lot of you do ask what lip combos I am wearing. And by the time I upload the video, edit it, I really don't remember because you guys, I have so much lip products that I don't have really a lot of them memorized, but um, a couple of them I do. If for reference, you guys like my lip combo for my um, lip liner, I'm wearing Morphe in the color Backseat Love. I kind of want to do a video on Morphe lip liners that you need because a lot of you guys ask me about my lip combos and I really only use Morphe lip liners and so I was really thinking of doing a video on Morphe, like the best Morphe lip liners, because I use a lot of Morphe lip liners. I only use a couple of Kylie Cosmetics lip liners, but I have a ton of Morphe ones that I could totally recommend to you guys. But yes, again, this one is in the color Backseat Love. Now, as far as lip goes for like gloss, I'm wearing the liquid lipstick from Laura Lee Los Angeles in the color Rose Icing. This was a limited edition one, so you might be able to find it on like a Poshmark Mercari Depop. And then I topped it off with this lip gloss right here from Cap Cosmetics. It is their lip oil in the color Rum Punch. This can be found at Walmart or online at Cap Cosmetics or online at walmart.com. So I'm not going to put eyeliner on my eyes today because I want to show you guys what these natural lashes look like. I kind of did kind of like a summary, like natural lash look. I'm not wearing an off the shoulder shirt today, you guys. Like we're doing jacket vibes, but we got the hoop earrings because you know I stay rocking my hoops. Um, but anyways, for the glue today, we are going to be using my good and old faithful duo glue with the green writing. So let's get on into it. Now, I'm going to link all these lashes down below. I don't have each price completely memorized. I kind of have a ballpark, so I'll go ahead and give you the ballpark. The first one I have is from um, Shop Miss A. It's their brand AOA Studio. It's their Glam 3D Lashes. These are faux meek, and they are in the style London. These ones are nice. They have the pricing right here. They're $1.88. Shop Miss A is a very affordable brand. If you don't know what it is already, they sell stuff for literally like a dollar. Like it's insanely cheap. Um, they do advertise on their lashes that they're non-toxic, vegan, and cruelty-free. Stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a review on their new bionic lashes. So they're going to take forever to come in the mail because that's just how their shipping is. If you guys order lashes from Shop Miss A, just be aware. It could take like two to three weeks for your lashes to arrive. Um, but anyways, they're really, really nice. So these ones right here, again, are in the style of London. Let me go ahead and take them out of the packaging so I could just show you all real quick. These are the type of lashes where my natural girls and boys out there, when you see them, you may think that they're too big, but when you put them on, they're definitely not as big as they look in the packaging. They're really nice because they're kind of tapered in a way, um, but they also have a wisp and they're light and fluffy and the band is very comfortable. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on and show you why you need them. And did I already mention they're $1.88? Like you can't go wrong. So cheap, right? So here's Miss London and these lashes are the perfect like natural look to go up against a look as such. So if you guys do an eyeshadow look that has glitters, pressed glitters, shimmers, whatever, this is the type of lash that looks really nice up against it because it's almost like the eyeshadow is glowing through the lash hairs. What's nice about this one is because it's more on the natural side, it's not a heavy lash. It's very comfortable and the hairs are very spread out where they really don't overpower the look of your face, right? And you really can't go wrong with the 
pricing of these lashes. Now up close, if you guys were to see them in person, you could see um, more of how thin the lash hairs are, how they're really not chunky, thick and bushy, and they just add the right amount of pop and flare to your eyes, to your eye space. Now, because they're more tapered in at the ends, they still give you that natural appearance of lashes because they kind of just flare up and add to your already existing lashes in a very beautiful, seamless way. Okay, so the next lash I have is from Cala Lashes. It is in the style Cleo. These are 3D foaming lashes that you could find on Cala's website, or you can typically find these at Marshall's. They are only $3.99. They look a little intimidating in the packaging, but let me go ahead and take them out. I did a ton of reviews on Cala Lashes, so if you want to see a little bit more of what is the brand is about, go watch those because here I'm just trying to show you some natural lashes. So what's nice about these is they kind of are a tapered cat eye lash. They start off very short, they get a little bit longer and they flare out and they're not as dramatic as they look in the packaging. I'm gonna show you why. So let me take these off. We're going to put on Miss Cleo. Okay, so I have on Miss Cleo. You might see some um, blue glue because it is drying down. But like I was saying, these lashes are a little bit more, if I didn't say that already, these lashes are um, a little intimidating in the packaging, but once they're on, like you guys, they're so natural. They're super cute for those of you who just want something that adds a little extra flair towards the edges of your eyes. These are also really great lashes for beginners because the black band is so thick. It almost looks like you're wearing eyeliner. So if you want to do a little quick eyeliner hack trick, you could literally just apply a line of eyeliner from where the eyelash starts to the inner corner of your eye. And it literally looks like you're wearing eyeliner all across the eye with a very light lash. These are super duper comfortable. And I think they're the perfect like intro lash for someone who wants maybe a cat eye and they're also good for your everyday type of lashes like if you're just someone who just needs something to plop on real quick and head out the house these are really really easy to put on the band is very flexible so you don't spend a lot of time having to place them you guys know if you've seen my previous lash um, reviews usually when you put on an eyelash on an eye eyeliner it's a little bit more difficult to stick on I don't know why um, and you also want to be precise with it you don't want your underneath lashes to show you don't want like your underneath skin on your lash to or on your eyelid to show and you have your eyelash placed all wrong. These ones are so easy to put on so you won't have any problems with that. And then again, they're so cheap. You could typically find them at Marshall's. If you can't find this style at Marshall's, just go onto Cala Products website and they will have them there for you. Next lash I actually really, really like, and it's a tapered lash, and I typically don't like tapered lashes, but it is the House of Lashes um, lash in the style Siren Double. I think that is what they're called. These ones are tapered. They um, point out more towards the center of the eye, but this is the perfect natural lash for those of you who maybe don't want to flare like such. Maybe you don't like the cat eye effect. Maybe you feel like it doesn't accentuate your eyes and you might like these better. Um, these ones are under $7, just under $7. So let me go ahead and take off Miss Cleo and we will put on Miss Siren Double. Okay, here's this double siren, and this is a different natural lash. And the reason is, like I was saying before, it doesn't flare out, doesn't really give you like a cat eye effect, isn't like a wispy. It's more of a lash that's just tapered at the end, stands up towards the center. But for some reason, I really like this lash. I just feel like it really opens up the eyes and it gives it basically like a natural flare in the center that just really makes the eye pop. Now this is the type of lash I would definitely recommend with a natural look, a look like I have on as such. If you were to do something heavy and dramatic, it just won't stand up against these lashes. So if you are someone who is in the natural game, um, but you're not really a fan of flare, it doesn't really accentuate your eye shape. You want to look for eyelashes that extend more towards the centers of your eye and that are tapered towards the edges. And they don't really poke around your lid space, even though these lashes kind of go just straight up. They're very comfortable and it feels as if you're not even wearing lashes. So you will find these at Target. You can also find them online as well. So let me know if you guys like these. They're different. Y'all know I really don't wear lashes like these, but for some reason, these really just grab me. I love them. I think they're gorgeous. So let's move on to the last lash. Now, the last one is from Ioni Lashes. Now you can specifically find Ioni only at Dollar Tree's um, 99 cent stores, or what I'm seeing is people do resell um, the lashes on Mercari, Depop, uh, Poshmark. 
websites as such. I have the style very berry strawberry. This one looks like a big um, lash, but it's actually super natural in that it's not really chunky. It's not a bushy lash. It's just very thin strips of hair. Um, they're kind of almost all the same length except the ones towards the inner corner. So let me go ahead and put on very berry strawberry and show you why. This is the last lash you need in your little natural collection. Okay, so here's very berry strawberry. What's nice about these lashes is they are just different as well. They basically, um, they look like a very light lash extension, kind of like when lash extensions first came into like the scene. Um, there wasn't really options for like D curl and all these other curls that we have going on where you can get very dramatic eyelash extensions. We kind of just got natural looking ones. These are what they look like. So what they're, what's nice about them is they kind of just have like a nice little curl. They add to your existing lashes. They really don't overtake like the look of your eyes. Um, what I like about them though is that the hairs are thin. Um, they're not something that is like chunky, like a wispy lash. Um, sorry, I glued this one. You guys can see right here how I glued it wrong. Let me go ahead and fix that. Same thing with this one right here. There we go. What was I saying? Okay, yeah, they're not really like a chunky lash. They're very thin. They're very comfortable. And because the lashes are so light and kind of sparse, um, it doesn't even feel like you're wearing a lash. So again, if you are someone who is looking for a natural lash out there, you kind of like the look of lash extensions, don't want to pay the hefty price of it. These ones are a very good dupe for it. So anyways, I hope that you all liked the selection that I gave you. I tried to give you a variety. We had some tapered ones, ones that look like these kind of give you like a thinner, bigger lash in the beginning because that one still falls into the realm of natural. So let me know down below, which was your favorite lash. If you do have any of these, or if you plan on purchasing them. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click the bell so you're notified of every time that I do upload a video, please be kind and always spread peace, love, and happiness. I will see you all in my next video.